dumped <laughs> wings that are hardly dumped. Wings. Dumped. Just dipped in sauce. Dipped. They are dipped wings. Because... <laughs> pictures on like twitter and i was like that's big a shame maybe <laughs> it's not what i ordered mate it's 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 not what i ordered i didn't order I dipped wings love. i didn't order dipped wings love i did not order dipped wings love but... <laughs> Who am I to talk? ciao anyway so, so. Um, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, the two of us are going to be, you know, having some KFC food. <laughs> Barely KFC food, okay. We're having some KFC food and we're gonna talk about the series and movie that we've watched. Well, we've watched two movies, really. Yeah. And one series. We watched Warrior Nun. Uh, hmm. Girl. We watched um, Games Night, which was, you know, and pretty cute. And we fun. watched... Black is king. <laughs> oh, like, oh my I god! You, I love you, girl. Okay. So um, yeah. So I just want to say thank you guys for you know coming back. If you are new to this channel, please you know like and subscribe. Just subscribe, subscribe. right now and share with like, your friends. You know, yeah. don't waste time. You know, subscribe at your mom. Let's yeah. get on with the show. Child. I, don't even, I don't even know, child. I don't even know, girl. It's not what I saw in the pictures. I didn't order this. <laughs> Barely done doings. Is that what you're telling me? Okay, so how does this taste like? If this tastes like shit, bro, I'm, it's on site. Mm, it ain't so bad. It's fine. But like, I can't do it too. You know, there's nothing in this. It's just if you only give me this KFC, a I chicken. If I should have just made chicken and made. Mm, it's mm. something like oh my hands are like ah yeah. But yeah. anyways, you know. So the first series that we watched was Warrior Nine. How much would you rate it? I'm rating that shit a two and a half because why the fuck? I think I think I was gonna rate it a two and a half, and then I was thinking yesterday I was like, okay, maybe I should just rate it a two out of five. It wasn't bad, okay. It wasn't bad, but like, what the fuck was that ending? <laughs> okay, so Warrior Nun is about this girl. She is like paralyzed she's from she's the neck like, down. Yeah. She's been paralyzed for like what eight years. Um, her she's mom. Seven. Yeah, her, she and her mom were traveling in Spain, nice things, and then boom, they were in a car accident. Her mom passed away. Her mom died. She, mom died, and then she was taken to like this Catholic, Catholic orphanage. Oof. She was staying there for like, you know, ever since she was 12 years old. She's about 16, 8, 16, 17 at the beginning of yeah. the show. The show starts and she's dead and she's narrating. Also, the narration, we'll get onto that. But anyways, she's narrating about, oh my God, like my life, guys. You know, it got shit, but then the, it like, got like, even like, shittier after I died and came back to life. And, uh, How she comes back to life is that there's this battle sequence at the beginning of the episode of, of the first episode and there's a demon and then this nun she takes like this mm. this thing it's called it's, it's, it's a, a literal a fucking like halo literally like literally an, halo. An, an angelic halo slams it onto the, the, the our protagonist's back oh my god i even forgot her name the nun literally slams the like, halo on ava's back and she comes back to life. life. And she's like, what the hell is going on? So basically, um, the show is about Ava, you know, finding out that there's this secret um, society run by nuns. And she is the warrior nun now. So warrior nuns have the job of, you know, fighting and killing off demons in the world. And it really is about her story, about how she comes into herself and how she is discovering her powers and how she has to choose between living her life you know, or, you know, joining the secret nun society and yes. fighting demons and killing demons and basically saving the world. It was cute. It was not. It was. Like, it was nice. In the beginning. In the I beginning, it was, it was very entertaining. It was like, what yeah. is going on? The confused gambling. And then. And then the then the middle was dragging. Oh my god. So how we watched it is that we watched like the first. 
five episodes and then we stopped. Oh. It took like two weeks. Yeah. And then we carried on again because like, okay, we actually have to finish the show. Episode four, five, and six. Yo, yo, yo. Uh, like, Z and I, I were like, skip, like, skip, no, skip, no. skip, 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 skip. Like, I got to episode three and I was like, I hate this bitch. I was like, child, what is wrong with you? It's like, okay, I understand, girl. Like, you haven't... Like, you have never lived your life. You, like, lived your life with someone taking care of yeah. you. Living on a bed. Yeah, but no, you can't move. And now you get this opportunity to live your life, you know. But now the thing is that it comes at, like, a price that you have to save literally the world. Or else hell will literally be on earth. What did you decide to do? Run away. I'm a run away with the guy that I just met a week ago. Cute guy. You know, really cute. Mm, it's a shame. I even forgot his name. Tracy. <laughs> okay. So, also, a cute guy, you know, she meets a cute guy in, like, episode two. Like, bye, bye, bye. And it's like, okay, girl, I like you. You like me. Oh, my God. And then, like, she decides to run away with him. You know, like, she really was possessed by the spirit of Carly Rae Jepsen. And was like, run away with me, girl. And it's then she d dead ass ran away with him. And was, like, crossing borders and shit. It's wild. The Warrior Nun Society is, you know, like hunting her down because they're like girl you kind of have to you, be you with us have, you know things like, are really tense here you know like, the demons are coming girl you're not safe because you know you have the demons, halo, are the demons are attracted to, to the, the halo. halo and that's what they want to bring it back to hell so you kind of have to you know you have come to train with us yourself. we need to you train to... you and things like that no me no girl me i'm gonna run away literally literally for like four episodes four right? episodes guys running away for four episodes i was like okay can you come up with something else can you come up with something else and it's only in like can episode seven where, where we're like, like okay fine. you know the story starts picking up yeah again. but other than that i feel like this show shouldn't have been 10 episodes mm -hmm. it's a 10 episode long season i think this show would have benefited with it being eight or maybe seven episodes like because that's it like episode four five and six i was like skip 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 there were so many scenes where i was just skipping because i was so bored there like no need can we come up with something else episode was really three bad. When she ran away, i was like okay girl i understand shame why you're running away episode four came and i was like okay fine girl i guess episode five i was like no Get a demon. Get me a demon right now. To for this guy. And, and like, even when no, someone dies. There was a demon. There was a demon. There was a demon. Another character. She dies Lilith. and comes back. Lilith. She's a warrior nun. That was supposed to have the halo. But the halo kind of, I guess, rejected her. It didn't reject her. She just wasn't chosen to take the halo. Yeah. Like, she... she the like, halo chose someone else. So much like, oh, Lilith, guys. The thing with Lilith is that her family line, everyone has had the halo. Every... Everyone has been a warrior. Everyone has carried the halo, and it's her, her turn now. And in she's the kind of like she's kind of like a, she's kind of like a horrible person. She really she's is. really horrible. She's really mean Don't to like Ava. Her. Didn't like her for like a good chunk of the season, and then like in the end, when she comes back from hell, she's like all like better, and she's like you know humble, and she's yeah. like I need to be kind to my sisters, hey sisters, and it's and like, like okay, so it took you going to hell to be like a decent human being. No, like, it took you. What was dying? dying. And <laughs> it was really weird. Like it was a, it's a very weird show that honestly, I don't think should have been ten episodes long. It would have been better if it was like a shorter. And honestly, it really like, would have kept the story and the momentum yeah. going. But it being ten episodes, like it really dragged. And the ending, girl. I don't want to spoil anything, but the ending is. Cut the cameras. That's what. No, that's seriously, the cut the cameras. Cut the camera. I was what like, the whoa. fuck mm. was going on with the ending? Like. No questions were answered at the end of the season. Literally. More questions were like created. And I don't I don't know. I don't know what the fuck was going on like in the end of season I one. Like what is cooking oil? Like what, what is going on? What is cooking, cooking oil? Because what is happening? Like that that like when like, we got, the thing is because it's like at the very least, when you get to the end of a season, you have to you have, have, like to have some idea, questions you, oh, answered, okay. and you're like, okay, go, cool, yes. And you have to put two and two together. This, like, literally, yeah, two I was like, okay, okay. Right now. the okay. mythology of the story is an angel gave the first warrior nun a halo because, to, like, you know, fight God demons, didn't and die, God didn't die. want this warrior nun woman the first to die, the first die. warrior nun to die. And the angel was like, hey, girl, here's a here's halo. Here's my halo. You know, All right, okay, Garrett, fine, yes, be the warrior nun. Yes. And then at the end of the season, we find out that that angel wasn't it's really an demon. angel, it's a demon. And I'm Who like, stole? okay, cool. Mm -hmm. But then, like, how did the demon steal the halo? What does the demon want on earth? 
why was the demon imprisoned? I mean, he's a demon, but why? Why? Besides that, if you're a demon, aren't other demons from supposed to know that you're a demon? Why are you? Why are you enticing me? What's up, Antonio? What's cooking oil, oh, guys? No. Another, another thing that I didn't like about the show was that it didn't really. What's the word? It didn't really, you know, interrogate what the church has done for mm. centuries to create society in a sense that how, you know, they are responsible for quite literally creating homophobia. Yeah. You know, like, you know, the church has done some atrocious things like, in the past and the show didn't, it didn't, it didn't interrogate, interrogate that. that. It would have been such a great opportunity for us as viewers and the show to be like, hey, oh. even though this lady, this warrior nun Ava is now going to be be part of the church essentially now we can question the existence of, of god church, we yeah. can question you know the what the church has done no interrogation none, none, none of that. no none you know that. no deep themes were explored in the show no. and it's like you had so much scope to do that so and you potential. really didn't you know, i was had rooting so much for potential. you we all were so um that's why we gave warrior nun a I'm giving it a two and a half out of five. I'm giving I'm really it a two and a half. I, I'm not like, giving honestly, it a two I'm, and a half. I'm only, I'm, literally, I think the only reason why I'm going to watch season two it's is so that I, I want to know, know, know what's going on. Because if my favorite Other than that, listen. Other than that, if... if my yeah, nigga, girl. Because what's cooking oil, the fate to like... Please go watch it and let's discuss this. Again. So the first movie that we watched was Games Night. It's a comedy um, with Jason Baton and um, Rachel McAdams. And it tells the story of this couple played by Jason and Rachel. The movie starts with them like at a like bar and they're playing like this game and somehow they are they are on opposite team. Boy meets girl, both of them are competitive, they fall in Kittings, love, they get Kittings. married, and then boom, we technically at like the start of the plot yeah. of the show. They are a couple living in a nice suburban house. They want to have kids, but Jason can't <laughs> literally in the movie. Um, their doctor's like, I don't like your sperm, Jason. No, I don't like, I don't your, like your semen. And I was like, what? It's not that he has like a low bad, or a bad load or anything or a low count. It's just that the motility isn't good. Yeah. And they're like, oh my God, girl, stress, you know, you stress, know stress, your competitiveness, very competitive, like, it's very intense. Down, On the, and then Rachel, his wife is like, oh girl, the husband, the, the brother is coming to visit this weekend. And... Basically, Jason and his brother have had, you know, this wild competitive streak ever since they were, like, young. And, and brother the brother, brother has always brother. been successful. You know, he's richer than him. You know, he's more, he's cooler than him. All wow. of that. And that has affected, you know, like, you know, his stress and the motility of his semen. So, the movie, basically, um, the, the brother's coming down to visit. And, and they have games out with their friends. They have games out with their friends. And the brother's like, ooh, this is going to be a games night to remember. And it's really, it's like, it's wild. It's wild. So then... Oh, they have another friend who's like a police officer who's... <sighs> girl. Girl, the niggas... The brother comes down to visit and it's, it's tense because mm. the brother is like doing so much better at games night. And it's like really orcs. You know, and he's teasing him wild, about his like... Teasing him about him his about wild things. Kids stories. Uh, like, ooh, girl... And then the brother's like, okay, guys, why don't you come to games night next weekend Good to my place, to my place. Because I'm going to be in the city for a while. And, and it's going to be this really amazing game night. And they're all like, bigger. okay, like, girl, mm, let's go. Let's do this. And then they go and the, the guy is like, okay, so I've hired like this, you know, um, Fake, com this, like, this company. company. Well, he doesn't really say it. Well, no, he does. He, he does basically say says he, he basically says I've hired this company That's to sort of stage a kidnapping, and then there are clues left for you guys. You need to find me, you know, by the end of the night. The first person who finds me this, will get the keys to, to like, this, this nice, nice car. car. And why do you think this? We go outside in like this black um, SUV van, and these guys are putting on these masks, and they're like, "Let's do this." So we're like. It's a game. It's a game. It's, it's not real. And then these these people come in and they start beating up Jason's brother. And it's like, it's so realistic. And all of these, Jason people and his just, friends are, are like, okay, oh my God, like, oh, wow. Real. Okay, so cool. realistic. Oh my God, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, no, it's an actual it's kidnapping. Actual, like, he's getting kidnapped. At first, kidnapping. I was like, it's, it's, it's a joke, right? And I'm like, no, girl, it's, no, I was like, no, girl, it's for real. Like, he's getting kidnapped. Like, I swear, I was like, real. oh, damn, this is staged real well. And then they started breaking things in the house. And I'm like... Oh, so it's a real, real kidnapping. kidnapping. So then he gets kidnapped, and then they're like, 
And then Jason and his friends are like, okay, we need to, you know, find clues. Find, find because clues they still think stuff. it's a game. And like, you know, it was stage well, but no. And nice. then we find out that it really wasn't a, a game. game. It actually was like... An actual kidnapping. A kidnapping. Turns out that Jason's brother has been involved with like the mafia and shit. And sorry, sorry, no, no, mafia, don't know. He's been involved with the mafia and shit, and they want their money back. Essentially, you know, there's this egg, egg that has like a list of, of uh, people in the witness protection program, and, and you know, the mafia wants this list, or like this one guy, um, who is in the mafia wants this list, and he's ready nice, to kill people. Hot. I mean, I wouldn't say nice. I guess he's hot. <laughs> no, he's nice because he didn't kill the friends. But like, I, I think he's nice. He's nice. He's hot. No, but like. Just because you didn't kill the friends doesn't mean that you're not going to kill people on the witness protection program. Okay, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cute movie. Yeah. I think I would rewatch it um, because I it's really would. funny. It's really, it's really, really watch, cute. I watch it for my friend, with my friends. Yeah, it's like, it's like that movie that you watch when you don't really have anything else to yeah. watch on a Saturday. And you just want something light and fluffy and cute. And I think we're going to give it like what? Three out of five? Yeah. I think for the laughs, three out of five. It's by no means an exceptional movie. God, no. But we laughed hard. So I'm going to give it three out of five. The moral of the movie is have friends who have cousins who are in, in the, the mafia. mafia, right? To make so that games night live. You make, fuck. Yeah, basically. And have weed. Basically, basically. That is the moral of the story. If you don't have a friend who has a cousin or a brother or a sibling in the mafia... You're going to have a boring ass game like, night, your, girl. Your game's not going to be... Oh, it's, like, gonna, it's not going to be lit. Lucky for y'all. Girl. <laughs> Child, anyway, I'm not, so... I'm not saying that. <laughs> 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 Dear God, Jesus. The third thing that we watched... So the third thing that we watched um, was the amazing, show-stopping, spectacular, never been done before, colorful, vibrant, energetic, soulful, um, filled with depth, filled with thematic, you Black know, shots. Black excellence. Black excellence is the movie directed, produced, sung, composed, um, you know, shots delivered. By Blue Ivy herself, Black is King. Blue fucking Ivy, guys. Can we, like, what more? Honestly, more hell, more hell. I feel like if it wasn't for Blue Ivy, Beyonce, it's just, it's just, like, I mean, Blue Ivy is Beyonce's manager. Literally, so, like, we know that. You know, so and, yeah. I feel like, you know, we need to give some, you know, praise to, to Blue, Blue Ivy, Ivy like, for allowing, you know, Black is King to exist. Yeah. Black and is king, guys. What, what, a, what, a, what an amazing experience! It was really an it experience. Was honestly, like that was so, so good, amazing, so amazing. I think if I was in the cinemas, like tears. Like, no, I, the thing is, we were crying. I, I was way. crying anyway. I was crying anyway. Woo, girl. So basically, Black is King is sort of like, okay, do we really? Have, okay, you know, let's just explain what it's about. Black if you is haven't watched Black is King, I don't know. What, if what you haven't watched Black is King, I don't know, girl. Um, and if you didn't enjoy it, maybe you weren't even the target audience. That I mean, no, maybe like, maybe you were the target audience. You just have bad taste. Oh, you don't like Beyonce, which is yeah. I mean, that's fine. That's you okay. know, if, if you don't like Beyonce, girl, that's cool. But then, so basically, Black is King is about is sort of like a retelling or reimagining of the Lion King. It quite literally is. What would the Lion King look like if, like, humans it was humans? Yeah. <laughs> that's quite, that's quite, like, as in that's the, the most simplest way of, like, delivering Black is King. But also, it sort of, like, incorporates Beyonce's album, The Gift, which was the album for the Lion King. So it incorporates all of those songs, as in, like, from Bigger, which is arguably one of Beyonce's best song, if top not tier. her, like, top, top, top two and maybe not even number two. Um, find your way back. Woo! Girl! A track! Um, you know, Don't Jealous Me, My Power, yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! Skin Girl, Other Side, Nile, Water, like... All of, all of them! Other Side, can we just, can we take a moment? <laughs> can we take a moment to talk about Other Side and just, like... I read, I read this thread yesterday. I actually should, I should send you this thread. But I read this thread yesterday about how, like, you know, the symbolism and the themes and, you know, what each 
part of each song means and how it relates to the story of the Lion King. And I was like, chef's kiss. Beyonce really did that. I think one thing that I liked about Black is King is that she really gave platform for African yeah. creatives, black African creatives, to tell their story, to represent themselves. And I think that's one thing that and I really like. And to see liked. us represented, because I don't think, like, black people or, like, people of color or dark and bronze people are represented the way they should be. I understand the argument where it's like, you know, like, um, Africa wasn't just kings and queens. Yes, yeah, definitely. That's true. Definitely. Like, pre-colonial Africa... Things were tense. Africa really wasn't a paradise for a lot of people. There was a lot of things going on that weren't great in Africa. But I feel like we haven't seen, you know, things that represent us in such a beautiful way. Like, if you look at, like, I was having this conversation with my friend Kulu. And, like, they were mentioning how, like, when it comes to white people, so their entire history has been represented in such great depth and nuance and complexity whether it's with us, like, our history was quite literally, like, wiped out. Like, we still yes. have to scourge and dig deep to like, really, like... And I mean, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not invalidating the, the immense work that, you know, African historians have done to really bring out, you know, you African, know African history. But I history. think for a lot of, like, people who... Like, a lot of African Americans, their history was quite... Like, their past, their culture was quite literally taken away from them. And I do like, think that, lot. like, you know... They are trying to regain or reclaim their culture in any way that they can. And I think that's what Beyonce is doing. We need to be conscious of the fact that capitalism will be capitalism. Girl, like, like right. capitalism, like, like no, seriously, capitalism, like capitalism literally. will capitalism. But, you know, Beyonce has her flaws. But I do think that she's using her platform in a really nice way, giving, you know, the platform to other African creatives to yeah. tell their story. And I do think that's beautiful. I do think that. I would still like for us to see the like really nice different aspects of Africa. And I do think that like in many regards, Black is King was sort of like, imagine if National Geographic went to different parts of Africa and we saw different parts of Africa and yeah. we saw them represented in a beautiful way. That's sort of what Black is King was about. Like it, I don't think that there was anything contrived about Wakanda like Wakanda is quite literally a fantasy like it's very much a fictional world and I mean it's great to sort of like ask yourself huh what would things be if we if if we weren't colonized oh my god yeah like I, I like I mean it's very, personally it's very painful for me to do that because it's like ooh, I very much spoil into a I, I fall into a spiral of like yo guys the ghetto but you know Wakanda is quite literally a fantasy that it's a place that doesn't exist whether as I think with Black is King we were using real locations real places in Africa and it was just so beautiful like, like it was so good people's and cultures were actually shown like even though Africa as a whole isn't like that you know with tribes and kings and queens exactly it's but like I, not I, all I, of I, us are kings and queens even that says yes we know but that's still other people's cultures, some parts of Africa. Ciao. Anyway, so in conclusion, Black is King, please go Top watch tier, it. Go watch Top it right tier now. content. Man, it was so man. good. It was so amazing. Five out of five, honestly. I mean, the only criticism that I have is that what? once what? again, uh, Jay Z gave us nothing. Oh, I man. love your lack of because energy. Listen, the other was like, <laughs> you see, you, you will be my toy. You will be my bye And she showed us that. So basically, what she said, men ain't shit. But then, like, men my, friend, my friend, my friend was like, I mean, at the end of the day, Jay Z gave us Jay Z. Like, that's honestly what Jay Z does. Like, that's it. Like, that's it. He gave. That's it. So it's not that he gave us a lack of energy. It's just that he gave us that. That that is him. Oh my God. I mean, true. Like, at the end of the day, that's all men. What do men and like, us? besides daddy issues and like trust issues, what what do y'all give us? Uh, um. I mean, uh, um, anyway, finished, so, okay. so <laughs> guys, thank you so much for coming today. Uh, it was very nice, you know, talking about the things, so eating, mm -hmm. um, dipped wings, dipped wings, and a um, a mayo know, and chicken, a, a mayo and chicken. Basically, like, guys, just go go to the kitchen right now and make bread, mayo and chicken. Mayo and chicken, put lettuce. Done. That's what. That's done. what it was. And if you're feeling spicy. Put sweet chili. That's it. So yeah, thank you guys for you know coming today and 
yeah, we will see you guys next time with some more reviews and um, more vibes, more yeah. vibes mm -hmm. you know. So don't forget don't to like, like subscribe, subscribe, leave a comment. comment. What did you like about um, Black Anything is King? About. Um, have you watched Royal Nun? Are you going to watch Royal Nun? Don't watch it. No, no, no. <laughs> listen, listen. Watch it, but from episode one to three, then skip to like, to like episode seven. six, seven. Yes, yeah, that's then, it. Then you're right. And then you're right. Because you don't miss out on anything besides this thing. Eh? No, yeah, yeah, definitely. So, it's yeah. Like, it's nice, I guess. So, yeah, guys, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. Um, I really appreciate your support and i know that i've been slacking for the past couple of weeks it's just that being back at school has been tense but i really promise to do better and thank you so much for all the support you've given me i really really appreciate you guys